She's my sister. We're always together, so we're known on the inside as Fratello. Fratello means siblings, brother and sister. Some people crack jokes about it, but what are you gonna do? It's as close to the truth as you can get. Chief, we strongly believe he has knowledge of the Republican faction's weapon smuggling. I suggest for safety, we might want to take down all of their safe houses. Fine. I want the Hillshire Trio of Fratello to cover the southern safe house. Sir, consider it taken care of. But the Jean Rico team, they're going to need some kind of support, don't you think? I'll take some Section 2 members and we can cover the building's perimeter. But I'd want at least two more Fratello to help us secure the location. John, this is Hillshire. Look, we've got the Southern Safe House locked down, but there's an issue. Our target isn't anywhere that we can find. It's possible that he's already moved down to your end. Double check that. Roger. I'll work over there while you're still breathing. I'll notify you the second I figure anything out. Over there. Answer me. Can Jose handle this? Uh, Chief, in my opinion, they're not ready for group operations. John, let it go. Well, I think they are. I'm adding Jose and Henrietta to the Jean Rico team. You got that? Jean? Sir. We got a message from the Hillshire Triella team. Looks like we're the ones favored to win today. Just get a positive idea on the target first. And listen, if he's not with them, I want you to let them go. Don't do anything. Got it. Let's go. Farrell, is the entrance clear? Alfonso and I have covered the front. Oh, Mateo and Giorgio have the back. The only other way for this mark to get out is through the window you're staring at. Wait for my orders. Affirmative. Rigo, focus on any shadows you see behind the blinds. Yes, sir. The southern hideout's been attacked. What? It would seem that someone's come looking for him, gentlemen. And that means that they might... Uh, they might end up here. If I understand it correctly, they were attacked by a young girl. A girl? Yeah. I know, it sounds crazy, but recently I've been hearing rumors of a secret agency that's been training little girls as assassins. Who is it, Louis? You won't believe this, but it's a guy in a suit and, uh, <laughs> a what? Uh, it's a, a little girl. <laughs> don't open it. I'll get them out of your hair. Louis, I said don't! Good morning, sir. I apologize for intruding like this. Do you have a minute? No, what do you want? Just a few moments of your time. I'm a reporter for Libero Italia. What is it you're reporting? I heard that Mr. Scallo of the Costello Company was here, and I would love to get an exclusive. Yeah, well, there ain't nobody here by that name, so good luck finding it really good. Well, I'm positive that he's in this building. Yeah, and I just told you, you got the wrong word, Chief. You are appearing. No. Maybe it's a learning disorder. You guy in here. Sorry, I... Get lost before I pop your eyes out and make your sister watch. It's the agency's call. 
The physical alterations, the brainwashing. All the conditioning seems to take much better the younger the subject. This is the work of the Social Welfare Agency, isn't it? Yes. Our government's created quite an impressive organization. To see it actively aiding the seriously injured, I mean, I never thought they'd follow through. Dr. Mossy, we came because we have heard that your facility is housing a very seriously injured girl. Yes, it was tragic. She's in desperate need of your help. Last week, her family was massacred. But the monsters kept her alive. Throughout the night, the poor girl was brutally assaulted. And all the while, her family members' bodies lay sprawled lifeless around her. She's confided in us thoughts of suicide. Have you come up with a name for her yet? Henrietta. Henrietta it is, then. Thank you. Once she gets used to the facility, we'll move her into a room with Rico. She's awake. I see you're awake. Thirsty? No, thanks. My name is Jose. You're up early. Did you get any sleep? No. Why not? so don't get spoiled by it. Just shoot in the general direction of the target. Close range, it won't matter what part of their body you lodge a bullet. It'll still keep them from going very far. Average, 
Joe said. Mission has failed. I repeat, mission has failed. Roger, we're on our way. Yeah. Henrietta, why did you lose control? <laughs> this isn't like you. Never seen you lose it like that. Your arm's been hit. You okay? Yes. Josie, we're here. Beryl. The witness isn't here. Judging by their reaction, I'd say he's hiding in the building somewhere. I'll put people on it. Alfonso, Amadeo, start at the rooftop and work your way down. Giorgio, watch the perimeter. Let's go home. I surrender! Jose, you need to increase her level of conditioning. You've got to put a bigger collar on your hunting dog. I think you're wrong about that. Too much conditioning will, will shorten her lifespan. Then we just prep a new patient once she's used up. You're too emotionally attached to a tool of the trade. Sean, enough. She may have a few issues. But she's an excellent assassin. It would be wasteful to dispose of Henrietta. Anyway, we got what we came for and lost none of our own. You should learn to take a broader perspective of things, sir. Chelsea, as you know, each handler is responsible for the actions of his own girl in the field. Now, if you think Henrietta could work with a little conditioning, then I'd like for you to give it a shot. However, further mistakes are inexcusable. Please make certain this is a lesson she understands. Yes, sir. Henrietta stayed as quiet as she could when I first brought her to the agency. Not that I can blame her. Watching her family get murdered. How do you get over something like that? How could she wrap her head around the fact that she, out of everybody, she survived? When I first set eyes on her at the National Hospital, her mind and her body were ragged, worn through. I chose Henrietta as my partner. It wasn't because I wanted to do something nice. Or did I choose her out of pity? Whatever it was, I knew I wanted to help her.
Mother just told me you flipped your lid out there today. I couldn't control it. I just snapped. Gia, I don't know what to do. Don't sweat it. Hey, I know. We can go have a drink in Kleiss's room. A drink? Yeah, she's got the best tea, and I swear she puts magic in her cakes. You just wanted to make him proud of you, that's all. So, but Triella, isn't that the only thing any of us can do? We all seek approval. And if I were him, that kind of devotion would make me feel uncomfortable. Is your arm hurting? I really... I just wanted to help you, Jensei. <laughs> we'll have a doctor take a look at that arm as soon as we get back.